Am I living in the past now because they're allowed to go on the walk or something? They're in no hurry. Look at that. It's unreal, isn't it? It's stunning. Okay, we're about 14 kilometers away from the next photo rally point, which is near Kong. Um, Kong is obviously the place where the quiet man was filmed, the John Wayne film, Maureen O'Hara. But we're on our way to McGrath's Quarry to look at a stone crusher stone crushing machine, a machine for crushing stones. Basically a bit of heavy plant machinery from God knows who or when. It was made by a company Baxter, WH Baxter from Leeds and I did a little bit of research on this guy. Um, 18, died in 1936 anyway so the, the machine is older than that and it's a pretty cool pretty cool looking machine I'll talk about more about it when we get there and I can show you it but it's it wow look at that that is incredible um, but this machine now would have made, uh, made made the work in the quarry significantly easier because prior to this machine rocks were broken by hand uh, labourers basically battering rocks and boulders with uh, sledgehammers until they were smaller size and used in you know road construction or railway construction and things like that and breaking the rocks down to different grades of sizes by hand this stone crusher obviously sped up the process it was again powered by a steam engine but the steam engine wasn't actually part of the machine the steam engine would have been it would have been a pulley operated so basically there was a pulley wheel on this stone crusher and you put a, a belt around it onto another pulley wheel on some sort of machine it might have been it was most likely a steam engine 
but certainly older tractors and things like the uh, Ferguson 20s, the Gray Fergusons would have had a pulley wheel or the Fords and Majors would have had a pulley wheel and essentially it was the same kind of a thing that operated threshing machines for the thrashing in harvest time same kind of an idea but you'd have some basically secondary machine that would be spinning a pulley wheel and you'd attach that onto the stone crusher with the, with a belt onto the pulley wheel that was on that machine and that would apply mechanical force then to the rocks to break them down into smaller sizes uh, there's a YouTube video clip of one of these Baxter uh, stone crushers actually working at a, a vintage rally and it's a fairly cool contraption to, to see in action I don't think this one that we're going to see today works but anyway like I said Jesus Christ look at the stunning beauty of this place absolutely incredible Lovely flick back bit. Oh wow, look at this. Holy shit, like stunning. But yeah, I don't know. Again, this is the second time now. I don't know what kind of a vlog I'm going to get out of what kind of quality uh, video content I'm going to get out of this because I kind of forgot to vlog because. Uh, it wasn't really a vlogging trip, it was more a uh, be out for a couple of days on the bike that we just happened to be taking in these uh, photo rally points but I kind of forgot to vlog on them just been having too much fun these stunning roads um, Jesus look at that it's stunning isn't it? All the islands inside in it. Is that Loch Corrib or Loch Mask? I wonder. I said, is that Loch Corrib or Loch Mask? You know full well I have done no research. Sat nav says this way, and the sat nav is always right, isn't it? No. That nav is never right. 100 meters away. Oh, you'll know when you see it a big black um, stone crusher machine with yellow writing in the front of it. Ah, oh, this f sat nav. Right. No, the sat nav is wrong. To pull in somewhere now and re, re jig some things because. Uh, Right, hang on now. Ah. Yeah, the sat nav, this sat nav keeps doing this. It gets you to the general location, but not spot on. So, I'll have to go to the other phone now. Oh no, there it is. Well done. We'll bring you the next time. That's cool, isn't it? I'm going to hide here now while this lorry is coming out in case somebody gets cross with me. This is cool as fuck. Baxter's improved 12x8 patent. Napping motion, stone breaker. Some leads. Sneak around the back here. And that's what it would have done. It would have been making those kind of rocks. 
so yeah basically where these flowers are growing drop your rocks in there and it's a pity now you can't see it but there's a, a plate that kind of you have a gap like that the rock doesn't fit down but the plate is doing this all the time and when the rock is broken down small enough to fit down through that gap it falls down out through this chute as 804 or gravel type thing and these this thing here 275 revolutions spins that way this is the a pulley wheel so this pulley this would have had a, a belt on it off a machine further up the road there further back here which would have been the primary engine back here transferring the power to the pulley there would have been spinning this and if I can see here you kind of have an oscillating kind of kind of a rocker kind of like a camshaft Mo movement, camshaft motion on it which moved that plate into a kind of a movement like that if it makes sense, probably doesn't look, put the oil in here oil goes in there, that's cool now lubricate this breaker well, tighten bolts prevent all wrapping and be sure that all parts are clean. That's the way to keep it napping. <laughs> cool.